In this video, I'm going to be going over what are the best cards to be buying after these new NBA Champion Super Packs completely crash the markets for the cards in these packs. So I'll be going over what I do think are the best cards to be looking to pick up and add into your squad. You guys seem to like this video a lot time last week that I did this. So yeah, just doing it again this week because there's a whole different type of players, a ton of new Dark Matters, you know, old Dark Matters, but different ones from the last promo Super Packs that we did get last Tuesday. And these ones are called NBA Champion and super pack so every single card at least dark matter in these do have a ring i think the galaxy opals also have a ring as well i believe so yeah i believe these ones i, I believe the pink diamonds and galaxy opals also have rings as well so the cards that i'd focus on first a lot of these are going to be more expensive cards but i'll talk about some budget ones that uh, as well at the end of the video but the first card i want to talk about might be one of the best cards in these super packs and that's going to be the dark matter kg because he's consistently been going for like over three four hundred thousand mt and now you can find his dark matter version for only about two hundred and fifty thousand mt maybe a little bit more like 300k at the most but he's gone down a pretty decent amount and i'm actually recording this tuesday night so when you guys are seeing this on wednesday he might actually even be a little bit lower. So KG, I think, is a great card to be looking to pick up and add to your squad. Still one of the best small forwards in the game. And I think if you can get him for anything under 250k, even anything under 300,000, I think that's really good value for a small forward. The next card I do want to talk about is going to be a very similar small forward to Kevin Garnett. And that's going to be Dark Matter Bill Russell. Still one of the best defenders in the game. And he's only now going for about 90,000 MT which is kind of crazy 85 to 90k once again could be a little bit lower when you, when, when you guys are watching this video but the fact that you can get dark matter bill russell now for 85k like he is still a top level defender at the small four position being six foot ten has a great wingspan perfect defensive stats with a 98 block 95 steel 96 perimeter 99 interior defense and also has every single hall of fame defensive badge so bill russell is another card i would definitely look i would definitely recommend looking at to pick up and add to your squad also another dark matter that recently just became a buy now is this dark matter d rob i still think he's a top tier small odds uh, top tier power forward i should say in the game and he's now become a buy now he's once again only about 95 100 000 mt could be a little bit lower when you guys are watching this video but pink or dark matter dr for 95k that is such good value for still a seven foot one power forward has a really good jump shot gives you great defense like i would say d rob is still debatably a top what 10 power forward in the game so the fact that you can now get him for under 100 000 mt i think is really good value a card that i talked about last week a lot but still went down a pretty decent amount is this dark matter ron artest i mentioned this card last time when i did one of these videos last week on wednesday so basically a week ago from when i'm doing it now i did mention him picking up and he was was about i think 95 100 000 mt he seemed to be around the same price tag maybe a little bit lower i i've seen this card for about 85 to 90 000 mt and that's still amazing value for debatably a top five point guard in the game who's one of the best you know maybe even the second best point guard defender in my team so ron Artes, another great card to be looking out for from these new nba champion super packs that have you know caused the market to go down a lot for these specific cards uh there's a couple other guys i want to talk about guys like Dirk Nowitzki you know for some of the more expensive cards he's also been a guy that's most likely been over 100,000 MT but he's crashed a lot like he's another D-Rob type of level at the power four position and he's now down to what like 70 75k maybe a little bit more like he might be 80 at the most no he's actually yeah he's like 70 to 75k that is really good for a power 40 seven foot one has an elite level jump shot on very quick timing and is a really good offensive power forward with a 99 mid range 99 three ball like this dirt card is super overpowered on offense and another great card that dropped in those nba super packs the nba champion super pack so he's another great card to be looking uh that, that i would look to maybe add to your squad i mean if you want a james worthy or a lebron they're still decent small forwards like if you look at lebron's price like let's just say for example you're a lebron fan or, or you really want to use a lebron card i mean he's pretty good man he's now a buy now only going for about i think 60k i believe 60 to 70 thousand mt somewhere in that price range he might be a little bit more yeah he might be like 70 80k yeah probably 70 to 80k somewhere in that range but if you're looking for a dark matter lebron card 
yeah, 70,000 MT. He's still a very decent small forward. And then you look at James Worthy, a card from season five in the, in the, in the new edition said to lock in for Terry Dishinger. He's now all the way down to, you know, 50,000 MT which is really good. He's a solid small forward in the game. So James Worthy is another card that I at least, at least take a look at maybe picking up and adding to your squad. And if you're a big LeBron fan, you know, he's a really, really good small forward, you know, in the game, in my opinion. Some other cards I wanted to talk about, I mean, there's a couple different guys I was thinking about talking about. Like, if you wanted an invincible card, it may not be a, a bad time. Like, Giannis, he might go down a little bit in price. I know Shaq and Pippen and Magic, these cards are also in those super packs. You can kind of check the invincible market and see if maybe any of these four invincibles do go down a little bit. You know, I know Shaq's still super expensive, but maybe one of these four invincibles could be a decent, could be decent cards to maybe look to add to your squad. But I know these are super expensive and a lot of people don't have the MT to go ahead and buy an invincible. That's why I want to talk about some budget guys. You know, cards like Marcus All, who's a really good budget power forward and was consistently going for about 30 to 35k for the past couple days. But now that he's in these packs, you can actually find this card for around 15 to 20,000 MT. And I think that's just such great value for a power forward, a guy that's a great defender. He's seven foot one. Yeah, he's gonna be about like 18 to 20,000 MT. I've seen this card for 12K. Like when the super packs first dropped at 11 a.m. Eastern uh, yesterday on Tuesday, he was so cheap. Like he was literally 10 to 12,000. Right now it looks to be about like 17 to 20K, somewhere in that range. But yeah, like I said, he's a really good seven foot one power forward. He's on that like Dirk, D Rob level, but those cards are 70, 100,000 MT. He's only 20K, and you get pretty much, I would say, at least 90, 95% of a Dirk or a D Rob. And I think there's a good argument, of, a, a good argument to be made that he's a better power forward than a Dirk or a D Rob. So, Marcus Saul, a great budget option for only about 20,000 MT. Another really good option is going to be from the it's going to be from the elemental set and then and this is this galaxy opal kyle kuzma if you're looking for an elite level budget small forward under 10,000 mt he's gone down so much that he's actually now below 5,000 mt so if you're looking for a super cheap small forward basically discard like quick sell value because how much does a galaxy opal quick sell for let me just quickly see like I think a Galaxy Opal Quick sells for 2,500, and you can find Kyle Kuzma for probably like 4,000 MT on a sniper. I think I saw one right there for about 4,000 MT. So you're basically getting a Galaxy Opal Kyle Kuzma for discard value, and he is an elite level offensive small forward. You know, six foot nine at the three, has a great jump shot on very quick timing. One of my favorite jump shots in the game and all around. Just a super solid small forward card. Not going to be the best small forward in the game, but for his price tag, definitely worth picking up if you guys are looking for a super cheap but elite level small forward in the game. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like cards like Mona Ginobili, J.R. Smith, they could also be mentioned and talked about because they're pretty decent. Like J.R. Smith, he's now going to be down to about like 35, 40K. He's a really good offensive uh, point guard. You look at Mona Ginobili, same thing. He's actually going to be pretty much a budget card now. He's like 25 to 30K, maybe even a little bit cheaper. So Mona Ginobili, J.R. Smith are also some cards to look at if you're looking for a point guard. I think they're also very solid as well. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and you guys did find it helpful. Let me know though in the comment section down below, are you guys going to be looking to buy any of these cards and add them to your squad? I think this is probably a really good time to buy a lot of these cards because their value has completely tanked you know a lot of cards have halved in price a lot of cards have just gone down to pretty much this card value like Kyle Kuzma Marcus Gasol's crashed a lot so yeah let me know what cards you guys are looking to plan or, or what cards you guys are planning to add to your squad and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace